Like most fandoms, Skyrim and Skyrim modding communities have their share of purists. People who insist on keeping their copy of the game as traditional as possible, maybe even modding it, but ultimately keeping it faithful to the vanilla game. I love Skyrim purists. Their appreciation for the game, its original design and its developers is admirable. On the opposite side, there are people who just don't care about keeping the game in its original state and try different mods no matter how lore unfriendly. At least, this is what I have observed during my modding years. Today we are going to challenge both groups and rate these 5 Skyrim modding sins. By the way, this video is meant to be playful, so don't get mad at me. Everything is a matter of opinion. Let's start with number 1, which is trees in Whiterun. I have found that this is a real opinion divider. People love having trees in the city or absolutely hate it, there is no in between. I'm in the camp of loving it. Some trees make any town look better. The argument against them is that these trees wouldn't be realistic in a tundra environment. And so breaks the immersion. I definitely see the problem here, but ultimately I love the cozy crowded field trees help to achieve. There are a couple of different mods which add trees in cities, but my go-to is Paradise City. 8 out of 10. White Run looks absolutely beautiful, but I can see how it might feel off for people who value immersion over everything else. Number 2 is Green Riften. Oh my gosh, I truly love the original Riften design, but after playing the game for years and Riften always being this autumn fantasy land no matter the time of the year, I personally need something new. So, summer in Riften with green leaves. Obviously, that breaks the game designer's vision of the hold, and that I am sorry for. But it's so refreshing to have the leafy trees be green in Riften. This one is a 7 out of 10 for me. What do you think? Number 3. Anime followers. By saying anime followers, I don't mean literal anime characters in Skyrim. We will go there next. But I mean this obviously weeb culture and anime-inspired follower NPCs. I feel like some people just despise these mods and the people who use them. This follower is from a mod called Korosuke Nari Followers, which is for Skyrim Special Edition and Skyrim both. She's Eleonora and this is Hotaru. How can you be mad? I have these sweet girls accompanying me on my journeys and that's more than fine by me. But again, if you like the art direction and the original feel of Skyrim, I think you're better off without these girls. 8 out of 10 for me. Number 4 is mixing Skyrim with other universes. Even though I'm somewhat guilty of this sin, even made a part of a video about Witcher stuff in Skyrim, I don't ultimately like mixing the game with other fantasy world universes. I'm talking about mods like Naruto Ultimate Overhaul or anything related to Dark Souls. Follower mods like Hinata here is definitely not my cup of tea, and this actually impressive Yennefer with her original voice lines is pretty cool for what it is, but ultimately just no. 3 out of 10 for me. I like Skyrim for Skyrim. Last sin is skimpy armor, the classic Skyrim modding sin. For the sake of this video, I downloaded legendary armor bikini mod. I'm actually a skimpy armor newbie, but I kind of like this style. What can I say? I feel badass. 10 out of 10. Thanks for watching! What is your opinion on these sins? Please leave a comment. See ya!